Hi, this is Seth Wild from SonicElectronics.com, and today we're taking a look at the Kicker Solo Baric L7. This is going to be one of their high-end subwoofers. Um, you can see it's a square subwoofer, which is going to provide more output for the size of the woofer that it is. But it is phenomenal. It's very loud. Um, like I say, it's one of their top-notch, one of the most well-built subwoofers that I've personally seen. I um, want to talk a little bit about the technology that makes this subwoofer so great. Um, first thing we want to talk about is the cone area here. So if you want to zoom in right in here, I'm going to show you some of the more the, the details of the subwoofer. First thing, so, uh, Kicker, they use a Solocon cone. Um, it's very stiff, it's very rigid, and what that is going to help with is less distortion as the cone doesn't flex as much. Now, along the outside here, um, you see some stitched surrounding, or the stitch sur on the surround. They use stitching as well as adhesive, um, to attach the cone to the surround um, helps the subwoofer last longer and provides uh, more, a more dur durable build. The surround itself is made of Santaprene, uh, which is a high excursion, high end rubber. And along the sides here, they also used ribbing. Now what that ribbing does is as the subwoofer is powered on and is moving back and forth with the excursion, it provides the corners to be able to flex more um, so that they don't crack, they don't, uh, they don't rip over time. Now if we're going to turn this over and if you look on the back, or excuse me, on the side of the subwoofer, we zoom in here, we're going to see the terminals here. Um, push spring terminals, very solid, very secure. Um, both here and here. Um, now this particular one is a dual forum, so you're also going to have terminals on the other side. Um, they're going to use an aluminum basket, and what that aluminum does um, is two things. There's one for heat. It's able to dissipate heat a lot faster than some of the other metals that are used, but it's also a non-ferrous metal, which means it doesn't um, attract magnets, or it doesn't have any effect with magnets. And because the magnet structure on the back is, is very large, um, that magnetic power is not being transferred to the aluminum basket at all. Um, a little more expensive to, to make and to manufacture, but it provides a higher quality um, woofer. Um, if you look along the inside here, you're going to see some more kicker technology. Um, along the spider, um, you're going to see what they call spiral lead tinsel leads. Now this is unique kicker technology. Um, it makes for a more sturdy tinsel lead. Um, so under um, extreme use um, when it's going for uh, or when you're playing for long periods of time you're not going to have any problems with tinsel leads cracking and breaking and snapping or anything like that it's going to um, increase the lifetime of the subwoofer in general um, also along the sides here you're going to notice some venting here this is a uh, venting for the magnet so as opposed to having a vent on the back of the subwoofer um, to allow the air to go they use it on the sides of the of the subwoofer. Um, that allows the, um, the woofer, when you look at the back of it, there's no hole along the back of the magnet. Um, this way, you can put it into shallower enclosures for a subwoofer of this size. And also looking along the back, you can see a lot more of just the whole aluminum basket. Um, it's very sturdy, very well built. Um, one of Kicker's nicest subwoofers out there. And my name is Seth Wild with SonicElectronics.com.